lot of investors will be, can it continue? A, a big part of the performance today was the short covering ahead of the EU summit where the market is watching to see whether we do see a change in policy from austerity to, to, austerity to some of those um, more growth orientated policies and also if we do see um, so, some sort of solution being put forward such as euro bonds. So a lot of those short mm. positions being closed out and that was reflected in terms of sector performance. We saw the material stocks doing well yesterday. Today it was the industrials which really outperform that sector up by 2.3 making it the best area in the market and it was the mining services companies which drove that we saw Monodelphus up by 7.7 percent deck mill up by 5.6 percent campbell brothers up by five percent making them the best performers in that industrial space we have a look at after that though and have a look at which areas were the best performing the energy sector was up uh, up quite substantially up by 1.8 percent but that was then followed by a very defensive area and that was a telecom sector which was up by 1.5 percent and then if we have a look at the next uh, best sectors, they were the discretionary, the staples and the healthcare space, all gaining around about 1%. So it does look like a combination of short covering as well as moving into those defensive areas ahead of that EU summit. And altogether, we did see a, a great performance on the Aussie market, up by 1.2%. If we have a look at the move down on the Aussie market over the last couple of weeks, it has been quite a severe one. So if we have a look at the move down and some Fibonacci levels on it, this is the 30-day chart of the Australian share market you can see the first level we get to is 4140 points so that's a level that we will be watching to see whether there's a turning point but of course all of this is dependent on macro events at the moment mm. and the thing that the market is watching is the EU summit on Wednesday there are some key things to be watching out for there's increased talks of euro bonds um, so I guess three key things to watch out for the first is any talk of euro bonds secondly is a possible European redemption fund and thirdly bank guarantees because of the the mini run that we've seen in terms of the European banks and depositors pull, pulling out that cash. But the key here are the euro bonds. They've also been called stability bonds uh, or joint bonds as well. And this is where I guess it works like a mortgage where you get a guarantor coming in and the guarantor would be one of the stronger countries such as Germany or France and what it would essentially do is uh, those stronger countries would probably see some of their uh, borrowing costs increase while the weaker countries uh, actually see their borrowing costs decrease and that would have an immediate effect in terms of alleviating some of the, uh, the concerns around those peripheral countries. So that's a key thing that the market's watching for. Of course uh, Fr France's president is a key pusher of that move but uh, it all really depends on whether Germany will back something like that. Secondly we're watching the possibility of a European redemption fund and this is where countries with a uh, debt to GDP ratio of more than 60 percent can access this fund. They'll probably have to put up collateral of about 20 percent in gold or their FX uh, reserves to access this fund and in return they will have some spending as well as tax restrictions as well. And thirdly we're watching bank guarantees. So a lot to watch out for in terms of Wednesday but the market's really looking for a shift from some of those austerity measures to growth measures and whether Germany is going to back.